Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. A cold, blustery day today, but sunshine in the Church Valley. Snows of the Magic Valley today had five inches of snow around much of Twin Falls. Kimberly having a six and a half inches of snow, so the Magic Valley getting hit, but the Treasure Valley again escaping the storm system now today with just wind after some rain and snow showers yesterday. 44 for that high temperature today, but boy, it felt colder than that with the wind blowing. Tomorrow, the wind will settle down at least a little bit, just a lighter breeze. So right now, we're sitting in the 40s in the valley. Ontario with lighter winds, 46 degrees. Not bad at all. Had gust over 30 in Boise today, but there are the clear skies. Snow is out of the Magic Valley. Southeast Idaho seeing the snow now again. As expected, the heaviest snow falling in the Magic Valley. So if you travel in that direction this morning, it was certainly some issues. But uh, again, uh, road conditions in much better shape now at the afternoon and temperatures now up above freezing. So it is generally dry now behind this storm system or this moisture that's moving to the east. The main storm is down to the south. Here's the clear weather, but there's another little swirl in the clouds right near Portland, and that's going to dive down to the south of us tomorrow. Is more cloud cover behind it, and so we're going to start to get into the clouds after tomorrow. It'll be partly cloudy for a portion of tomorrow, then clouds will increase later on, and then all the way into Friday night, we have a chance for precipitation with the real show, the real storm coming in Friday night as a powerful cold front moves through. Storm that gave us a snow here in eastern uh, Idaho now is right over Phoenix with showers, rain, and snow in the higher elevations. That storm system is going to develop as it moves into the Midwest. Snow now falling in Denver and Aurora, Colorado. The central plains will get a blizzard with one to two feet of snow and likely seeing some interstates close there in Nebraska, Kansas as the wind howls through. But this is the main storm system right here. This is the main player for us. Tomorrow, generally dry weather, although partly cloudy. Then the clouds will increase here and a cold front's going to come through. This cold front will have a lot of wind with it. We'll see maybe some snow in the morning on Friday, a chance for snow showers in the mountains. We're going to start to see snow through a good portion of the day. The wind will pick up. A cold front will roar through the Treasure Valley Friday night. That cold front will then switch rain because we're going to get mostly rain in the Treasure Valley over to snow. We could get a quick burst of a half inch to an inch of snow. Howling winds thunderstorms could develop as this thing moves through. This is a powerful storm system, and we're getting close to that time of year when this can cause those issues. So that'll blast on through, but I still think su Saturday could be much like today in the Treasure Valley with sunshine and clouds mixed as we then just have a strong wind blowing. The snow flurries could be lingering, but that's mostly in the mountains. So let's step through the time frame now. Tonight you see generally clear coming into tomorrow, some cloud cover in the afternoon, and here are some snow showers by Friday morning right here. There's a chance for some light snow showers around the mountains and here as well, but the real storm system starts to move on Friday afternoon, 4 o'clock. That's when the bulk of the moisture moves in. About a five hour period of some snow and rain turning over to rain in the Treasure Valley. Heavy snow pushing through the mountains. That was deep blue pushing on through. This is Saturday at midnight or Friday night midnight. And then on during the day Saturday, the valley will be just mostly sunny to partly cloudy with some snow showers to the north. That's about it. But some heavy snow could fall in a six hour time frame in the mountains. Five to ten inches in the central mountain ski areas could do very well, while a trace of snow, a coating of snow possible in the Treasure Valley as that storm system moves in Friday night. That storm system coming in on that northwesterly jet stream. Here's the Treasure Valley forecast for tomorrow. I don't expect much of the way of precipitation. Sun in the morning, clouds in the afternoon, a lighter wind, but temperatures like today, a cold morning, but the afternoon should be quite nice, although we'll get more cloud cover. Some snow flurries are possible and snow showers by tomorrow night. Snow could be falling into Friday morning in the West Central Mountains. My on your side extended forecast calling for, the, again, the biggest part of our storm system to move in Friday night could come in with a roaring cold front with rain and a burst of snow coating the ground. The mountains, not good travel weather in the mountains Friday night. I'm going to have more in the storm system. This is going to be a potent storm moving in. Good news for the ski areas, but be yes. careful traveling Friday night. Okay. Thanks, Scott. You bet. Well, coming up next on today's